Hello, YouTube. I have emerged. I just, I'm very sweaty. This is a sweaty Kobe sound reporting. Um, so outside, there's this thingy. It falls from the sky and it's white. And I live in Canada, so I should know how to deal with it. But like, I'm in that one part of Canada where we don't know what to do. But I'm gonna show you how you can solve some of your problems. Here we go. Well, uh, first let's grab some uh, adequate clothing for this. So I'm thinking a uh, t-shirt that says Terry Fox, too small for me. Be perfect right there. Um, and then this should also be perfect right there. Um, there. Good start. Okay, so give me a second here. I will become not so sweaty Kobe Sam. Watch this, it'll just be like very easy. Okay, so we have our uh, proper gear on here, ladies and gentlemen. So we're ready to go. We're gonna go get the snow gone and we're gonna snow the snow shovel. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so the next most important step is uh, choosing appropriate footwear. So uh, the slides should be the perfect option for the snow. Can't go wrong with these babies. Okay. Okay, so our uh, next step here is gonna be, we have this white stuff. Um, that mm. fucking cold. Well, we have to evaluate how deep it is. And you do that by taking your finger Sticking it in, then you can tell that it's about that deep because I got that far on my finger. So next, we're gonna need the tool itself, the shovel. So uh, if you don't have a shovel, one tool you might want to utilize um, is a hockey stick. All Canadians have some of these. Just go bring this over here. I'll show you a quick technique with this before I get onto the shovel. Okay, so uh, the next thing we're going to want to do with our hockey stick is uh, try this method. I call it the slap shot method. So basically it involves in hockey you take a slap shot. So we're going to use that to get rid of snow. I'll show you how it's done. So you go up to the snow and you just go. That's the slap shot method. Okay, so next year, boys, we're gonna go get a shovel. We're gonna go on an adventure. Uh, close that. Run as fast as you can in the snow because you don't want to be too cold, especially when you're wearing slides. You gotta make sure there's not too much snow in your shoes. Um, if there's bikes in the way, try to ignore them. Open your gate that you can't see anything in. And. That is a handle with no shovel. You don't want that one. You're gonna grab the one with the shovel. Hey boys, so it looks like we've made a mistake here. I don't think slides are the most effective. So uh, let's change to some Hirachis real quick. So now we got both shoes on. We're good to get back at it. Okay, so now we got our shovel. We got proper footwear. So we're gonna wanna learn some techniques. This first one I'm gonna call the traditional. It's you just go up to the snow, shovel like so. Go up to the snow, shovel like so. Let's do a time lapse of that real quick. So this uh, next technique, I call it the the pusher pro. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the shovel, you're gonna push through the snow. So you're just gonna go up to it. Like so. 
so. Like that. Okay, so then I was lying when I said the first one was the most classic. We're doing the most classic of all now. I call it the ride the horse. So basically, you're gonna take the shuffle, put it between your legs, go up to the slope, like that. So let's get some close up action. Because that's what you want, you came here to see, yeah? Okay, so now it's for the best of both worlds, boys. We're gonna combine the pusher with the ride the horse and use it to take the ultimate W. Watch this. So boys, I recommend you follow these simple tricks and techniques. Let's do a time lapse. I'm gonna do the rest in some multitude of waves, maybe some ways I didn't show you. Here we go. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the end result here. Incredible. So if you ever wanted to know, how a British Columbian stubbles, shovels, snubbles, shovels, snow. Here you go. As you can see, there's a bit of snow because I don't know what I'm fucking doing. Just kidding. I know what I'm doing, that's why you're watching me. And here we go. Thanks for watching guys. Um more great content like this video informational stuff educational stuff on the way for you boys and girls if there is a girls and uh we'll see you in the next episode goodbye why did i do that